Clear! My name is Matt Tribula. I'm the chief pilot for the North Carolina State Highway Patrol. The North Carolina State Highway Patrol operates four helicopters from two duty stations, one in Raleigh, one in Salisbury. In Raleigh and Salisbury, there are five troopers that operate these helicopters. 80% of our missions are for first responders in local counties, cities, and the federal government. Most of our missions include searches for elderly people, people with cognitive impairments, or hunters that are lost in the woods. So helicopters fly just like aircraft. They have wings. Airplanes' wings stay stationary during flight, but in a helicopter, the wings rotate during flight. The wings operate the same way using the Bernoulli principle. As the blade slices through the air, there's a pressure differential between the top and the bottom of the blade, which creates lift. Other engineering forces such as torque are present. As the blade spins counterclockwise, the nose of the aircraft moves clockwise. To compensate for this, we have a tail rotor that pushes air to keep the nose straight. There are airfoils all over the aircraft, including some that provide lift down and some that provide lift laterally, left or right, to help keep the aircraft stable during flight. Other technology in the aircraft includes the FLIR, or a thermal imaging camera. Inside the FLIR turret, there are multiple cameras that provide low light cameras and thermal imaging. We also have the ability to use infrared lasers to designate places of interest for searches. We have communication downlinks to provide the information to responders on the ground so they can see the same images that we're seeing in the aircraft. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 140 knots through the air and can stay airborne for almost three hours. The aircraft measures airspeed and altitude using a pitot-static system where air is forced into the pitot tube and differential pressure from the static ports allow the system to calculate airspeed, altitude, and vertical speed trends. When an engine goes out in a helicopter, the transmission has a clutch that releases. That clutch allows the main rotor to spin freely without input from the engine. It's just like riding your bicycle. When you ride your bicycle and pedal and decide to stop pedaling, the bike keeps moving. The helicopter works the same way. As we fall towards the ground, the forces of the air being pushed up through the rotor allows the rotor to maintain speed necessary for flight. As we approach the ground, we trade off the speed in the rotor and the energy built up in the system for cushioning on the ground. These aircraft are also used in short haul rescue. To do this, we partner with professional fire and EMS agencies who provide us technicians to accomplish the rescues. During the rescues, those fire and EMS responders are attached to a rope that hangs from the bottom of the aircraft. The pilot then places that firefighter into the area where the person needs help. The firefighter uses his skills to secure the person who needs help, and we use the helicopter to move them from the bad place to a better place. We use science and math all the time during flight. For instance, we may need to figure out how much fuel we have left. So we're able to calculate the fuel burn by knowing we have say 900 pounds of fuel on board, and we burn 330 pounds an hour, we know we roughly have around three hours of flight time. During a descent calculation, we have to figure out how far away we are from the airport, how far down we need to fly, and what time we need to do that in. We have to use mental math to make quick calculations such as fuel burn, top of descent, and time to target. These calculations are crucial to make sure the mission is conducted efficiently and effectively. 
there are many instruments inside the aircraft that tell us about the flight. The aircraft has an attitude indicator, which is a reference to where the horizon is. It helps us determine how much of an angle our banks are when making a turn. We have two types of altimeters. One altimeter measures how high we are from the ground. The other altimeter measures how high we are off of sea level. The airspeed indicator allows us to determine how fast we're moving through the air. This is important for things such as auto rotation and best climb and best angle of climb. We respond to scenes in all 100 counties, so knowing how to use latitude, longitude, or the U.S. National Grid System allows us to take the helicopter to where it's needed. Thanks for watching this virtual field trip to the North Carolina State Highway Patrol Aviation Unit.